the U.S. Navy-guided missile frigate USS Rodney M. Davis was striked with multiple missiles and laser-guided bombs on July 12, 2022, and the ship sank in 15,000 feet deep waters about 50 miles from Hawaii. Let us find out more details of this sinking. The Oliver Hazard Perry-class guided missile frigate was commissioned on May 9, 1987 and the ship was decommissioned on January 23, 2015. 26 nations, 38 ships, 4 submarines, more than 170 aircraft, and 25,000 personnel are currently participating in RIMPAC, or RIM of the Pacific Military Exercises, which began on June 29, 2022. It is taking place in and around the Hawaiian Islands and Southern California. It is the world's largest international maritime exercise, and RIMPAC provides a unique training opportunity critical to ensuring the safety of sea lanes and security on the world's oceans. The SYNCX exercise is a sinking exercise during which live fire is used to gain systems proficiency while sinking a retired naval ship. This year's target was the retired guided missile frigate USS Rodney M. Davis. Units from Australia, Canada, Malaysia, and the United States participated in this year's SYNCX. Among the systems deployed against the retired vessel, the Royal Canadian Navy frigate HMCS Winnipeg fired two harpoon missiles, while a U.S. Navy Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft deployed an AGM-84D harpoon missile and a FA-18F Super Hornet aircraft from aircraft carrier USS Abraham Lincoln launched a GBU-16 laser-guided bomb. According to commanders overseeing this year's exercises, the Live Fire events provide realistic training that refines partner nations' abilities to plan, communicate and conduct complex maritime operations such as precision and long-range strike capabilities. During SYNCX they gain proficiency in tactics, targeting, and live firing against a surface target at sea. The U.S. Navy emphasizes that former vessels used in SYNCX are prepared in strict compliance with regulations prescribed and enforced by the Environmental Protection Agency. Each vessel is put through a rigorous cleaning process, including the removal of all polychlorinated biphenyls, transformers and large capacitors, all small capacitors to the greatest extent practical, trash, floatable materials, mercury or fluorocarbon-containing materials, and readily detachable solid PCB items. Petroleum is also cleaned from tanks, piping, and reservoirs. USS Rodney M. Davis sustained multiple strikes from various missiles and bombs, and the ship was ultimately sent to the bottom of about 15,000 feet deep waters. I hope you liked watching this video. Please like and share the video to motivate us in our endeavor of bringing similar informative videos for you. Please subscribe to the channel and do not forget to click the notification button if you wish to get notified whenever a new video is uploaded on this channel.